So Samsung is still on its way to unveil the next generation high-end flagship chip, the Exynos 2200, according to business outlet Business Korea. Now, when Samsung first announced that the Exynos chipset will feature AMD GPU, expectations were high. Now, according to recent leaks, it might not be a big upgrade compared to last year's Exynos 2100, which can be found inside the Galaxy S21 series. Now, according to a recent report, the Exynos 2200 is only expected to provide 5% CPU performance improvements and 17% better graphics, even after using the latest ARM cores and AMD GPU. That's kind of sad. And not just that, there are also reports that said that the production issues are the reason Samsung might equip the most of the Galaxy S22 series with the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. And we even saw Samsung recently remove all those 11th of January launch teasers of the Exynos 2200 from its social medias. But according to Business Korea, the Exynos 2200 will be introduced alongside the S22 series, which I wasn't expecting, which is rumored to be announced on 8th of next month. A company official has said that there is no such production issues and performance issues and has even assured consumers that the thermal throttling problems of the Exynos 2100 has been taken care of. So, I don't know what to say. Anyway, at this time, the North Korea... At this time, the North American and Chinese models of the S22 series will get the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip as usual, but the Indian version of the S22 series will also be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. I don't know whether that will make you happy or sad, I don't know. And in one way, it's really good because a lot of people don't really want to deal with the Exynos thing, but a lot of people are there who want to experience the Exynos feel, I don't know. It surely is odd considering Samsung usually equips the Indian models with the Exynos processor, but yeah, it is what it is. And yeah, if you are interested in my wallpapers, then check out my website. Now, here's the thing, of course, nothing is official until it's official by Samsung. But then again, we still have a reliable tipster saying the price tags of the S22 series, which believe it or not, will just make you unhappy. Just a little bit more. The US price of the S22 series will look like this. The S22 will come at $899, up from $799. The S22 Plus is $1,099, up from $999, and S22 Ultra, $1,300, up from $1,200, which was already an insane price. Now, that means there is a $100 hike across the board. Now, a lot of people might say, oh yeah, now the Galaxy S22 and FE makes sense. Now, we've already heard that there will be an 8GB variant of the S22 Ultra. Please don't make S22 Ultra with 8GB RAM at $1,300. Don't do it. Please, no. Even the Tab A6 is gonna be expensive. Base Tab S8 will cost somewhere below $850, give or take $799, while the Tab S8 Plus is expected to increase its predecessor's $850 US price tag to somewhere like $900 to $1000, which is also insane pricing for an Android tablet, and the all-new Tab S8 Ultra with 14.6-inch screen will set you back at least $1100, when it will definitely go on sale, but yeah, that's a bad pricing. Even though this will pack the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and a lot of technology inside, but still they are Android tablets that are costing you like 1100 bucks. Keep that in mind. And yeah, check out my website on your computer, tablet or your phone. Jointheavit.com, link down below. It's for everything tech. You're gonna get all these and more tech news way faster than these videos. These videos take a lot more time and effort to create. So subscribe this channel and like this video as I appreciate that and definitely visit my website.